Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Yes, Celine Fomuko. On today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make a beautiful maxi dress. As you can see on my mannequin, so beautiful and lovely. Alright, let's write on. For today, on our mannequin, on a sketch, we have the back. We'll be needing the back, the bust, the waist, our arm, our sleeve length the wrist and our full length here is a sketch of our maxi gown here's the front part here's the back part we'll be having a zip all right here we have the basic measurements for a certain client here is the back which is 14 our boss 41 our waist 38 our half length 16 the full length of our maxi dress 51 our sleeve length 17 and finally around sleeve 14 okay guys for this today's tutorial we'll be needing a pair of scissors a piece of chalk a, a pins and a beautiful ankara fabric i'm not forgetting a tape so let's start for this client our half length is 16 inches and we'll, we'll, we'll take notes on our uh, 16 inches then we'll, we'll look at the biggest portion on our measurements which is 41 and 41 by 4 will give us 10.25 so on our fabric we'll try to fold our fabric on 10.25 so here just this fold is just enough we have 12 plus our ec so from our self edge downwards, we measure our 16 inches and we'll add our one centimeter so soon allowance and from the here is the center of our fabric which will give us the center of our dress inwards we measure five inches and 2.5 inches we link them to form a round neckline and from the center our client's back is 14 inches by two will give us seven Measure seven, and from the point seven downward, we we'll take eight point five inches. Take a straight line. Take a straight line, and to get our boss, take ten down. Since the client is not a very tall person, take them go a straight line. If you are not accurate, you can use a ruler. But since I've been doing it, so I just need to use my hands. And our boss measurement is 41 by 4, will give us 10.25. Here is our 10.25. Plus our one inch for this thing. So now from this shoulder line inward we we'll take in we we'll take one inch downward and we we'll link it to the shoulder. And from this point to get the armhole we we'll just link. And from the shoulder line to our waist, which is 16 inches, measure 16 all through. From the center point inwards, our waist is 38 by 4, will give us 9.5. Here is our 9.5 and our 1 inch for easing. 
So in allowance, one inch to link the points. At at point five for the armhole. Okay. Our dress will have our dress will be having a princess that. So from the arm, we we'll just come down. From the shoulder line downwards, we'll come in by five. I'll mark a point for our and on the waistline, we'll take five in from the center, we'll come in by five too as well. We'll link our that our princess that that is off our for the half length, we'll cut it out. And to make things easy, we'll just place this the front part before our fabric again. We'll place the front part on the back. Place the front part on the Ankara fabric. And this time around, we we'll put extra allowance for our zip. So our zip allowance will be two or one point five inches. Yeah, it's just enough. One point five. One point five is good. So we'll just cut it out. We we'll trace it out. For this case, our client. Requested for a V back, a V neck. So we come in by by eight inches. So we try to form a V neck at the back. So easy, as you can see. If you are not accurate, you can as well pin the front on the back to be sure that the fabric doesn't move. Okay. Here's our front and here is the back. So open this out since is the back having a zip allowance. We'll keep this aside to get half to get the max zip portion, the circle portion of the dress. You just need to measure the width. Which is 44 inches for this case. Take 44 by 44 and the length. So 
44 by 44. Here is a point 44. Oh, my point, and you cannot cheat. All right. And the other way, measure 44 as well. Is a point forty four notch, and from that point, you go on both sides forty four. After having a square, now we we'll fold our fabric. To give us a triangle. Here is our triangle, and since on our on our measurement, our waist our waist is thirty eight inches by four will give us nine point five. So come on our fabric, and we try to get nine point five. Here's the point nine point five. We mark it. Mark point nine point five. I told you guys if you are not accurate, you use a ruler. So we'll link our point nine point five. That nine point five will give us the waste of our mice dress. And so the full length of our gown shows that our gown is fifty one inches. So 51 minus on our tape, we have 51 minus our 16. You just need to push out the 16 and you take 51. And our gown has pleats, knife pleats at the hemline. So since we have 51, we'll take 5 inches for our pleats we take five inches for our pleats measure this way from this side line we have 31 for the length so we'll just take the 31 or two mark the point 31 mark the point 31 So we'll link it, link it, make it bow. I'll cut it out. Get this one out. So this is the flare part of our Nazi gown. This is the flare part. We'll keep it inside. Our sleeve length, our round sleeve is 14 divided by 2 give us 7. We come on our fabric, we look at where we have 7. So still to economize our fabric, 
Oh, shift it again. Now we have 8.5, which is not bad, it's good. We have enough easy. So here is our seven. All right. So we'll get one sleeve at a time so as to economize our fabric. Yeah. We have our seven. Um we decided that we'll take twelve. So I will take 12 for the sleeve, the, the fitting part of the sleeve. Since it's a fitting sleeve with a flay, we'll get this fitting part first, then we'll later on get the flay. So we'll shape out our sleeve. Out our sleeve and the link open at the point twelve we add sewing allowance. We get it out. Take this part, the first sleeve, place it again on our fabric and cut the second sleeve. This dress has two sleeves. You can pin it down. Put it out. We are done with the fitting part of the sleeve. Now I want to cut the flay. All right, we are done with the fitting part of the sleeve. Now I want the flay part before our fabric. Look at what I'm doing. This is the cell edge. This is the center. You hold it like this. You want to form a triangle again. Here we want to do the flay on the sleeve. By looking at the dress, we have a flay on the sleeve. There's a fitting portion and there's a flay on the sleeve. So come on our fabric, our round hand shoes is 14, so here 14 divided by 2 is 7, we'll measure it out, we have our 7.5 for swing allowance. And here we we'll take seven for our flea. Seven or two, seven. I'll link the points. That is all for the flea. See, so easy to make. Pleat it out and when you pleat it, it will be so beautiful. 
attaching it by this fitting pressure. See how you know, so nice. I'll stitch it to see how you flew out. Alright. Probably should be folded into four. Oh, give us a triangle again. We repeat our process here. Repeat it out. Trim out this extra piece. So yeah, there are two flare pushers of our sleeves. We'll keep it aside. Our dress has nice pleats at the hem. So we we'll cut our knife pleats out. We just be a straight, we just get a straight piece of fabric and we'll hem it. We're not folding the two. We'll just be straight. We'll hem. So we'll measure our 5.5 .5 inches or two 5.5 .5 inches. We'll link it. Alright. Get it out. This will give us our knife pleats. We dress. We have knife pleats at the hem. Keep getting our 5.5 until we are done with the fabric. Here are the final pieces of our maxi gown. Here's the sleeve, the fitting part of the sleeve. Here's the flare part of the sleeve. Put it aside. You sew this part, this, you run it out, and you have the full sleeve. Yeah, you join all these pieces and you give us a straight and long piece for our knife pleats. Here is our half length, which we'll sew with the flay part to give us the maxi gown. Let's fold it. Let me fold it. It's, in, it's folded into four. The half length is also folded into four. When we sew it together, it will give us a full dress. This is zip, don't forget. At the center, the center of the back, this is zip. We have our pieces that will cut them out. Don't forget to cut them out. them out join them i'll go on my sewing machine and join them out and i'll show you the final product of the tree i've come to the end of today's tutorial thanks for watching if this video has been helpful to you don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to click on the notification button so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be alert. I welcome questions and I will answer them. You can just post your questions below and I will respond. Below as well are some links which will help you get some tools which will ease your sewing. Bye-bye.